Hi everyone, today we're going to look at the Seymour Micro uh, panel that's offered by Automation Direct. Now this is a new unit, but it's part of the Seymour Micro panels. And if you look back up on the website here, you will see that currently we'll be looking at the 4 inch panel. It has the color display, but there are part of the other family that you can also um, purchase. And it comes with a programming software which is free of charge and all the documentation can be found on a website as you see up here. Now if we actually go into the 4 inch panel of our micro um, or Seymour micro panel it will actually give us some of the specifications of this unit. Um, it comes in two different varieties. The current one that we will be looking at is the EA3-T4CL which is the widescreen 4.3 inch TFT color and it gives us a resolution of 482 by 272 pixel display and it mounts in a standard 3 inch hole. Um, it has 14 megabytes of memory and we have the Ethernet communications built in for control to our automation equipment. Now what this is is a human interface and it's made to display and control operations for your automation solution. Information is displayed in a graphical format graphical user interface that's sometimes referred to as the GUI. The HMI is usually part of a, a SCADA or supervisory control and data acquisition system and communications from the HMI to the control is usually done through a serial which is like RS-232, RS-45 or RS-422 or Ethernet which is an RJ45 uh, method. And now they also have different protocols depending on the manufacturer of the logic that you're controlling or the logic of the controller. And the automation control device is not limited to a PLC. You can also communicate to drives, temperature, uh, process controllers, etc. And the HMI usually includes several different protocols and port configurations to maximize the amount of control product that we'll be able to communicate to. So what you'll see is that um, we have this and it comes in a couple of different varieties as we said before. So here we have um, all the information and information that you want on that controller. And if we call up um, our actual uh, specifications, you'll see that we actually have uh, a link here and it actually talks about the particular controller we have. And here's all of our different uh, parameters here. We have uh, touchscreen, obviously, uh, free downloadable software, our pixel, we have 32,000 different colors, optional uh, clear memory screens that we can put over top. We have a built-in USB micro B type for programming, and we have an RS-485. So there's my panel cutout, all my specifications, and we'll get down to the bottom here where it actually specifies which drivers, uh, PLCs that we can talk to. So we have all the Automation Direct uh, Proactivity Series, the Do More Series, the Click, the K Series. Um, we also have DirectNet. We also have the um, Automation Direct Modbus. We have Mod, uh, Modicon Modbus RTU and NV Modbus RTU. Then through serial port 2, we can talk to Alan Bradley, uh, DF1 uh, half duplex or full duplex, PLC5, uh, DF1, our Alan Bradley uh, Data Highway 485. We also have the GE um, 930, 970, the Micro 9, Versamax and Micro. We have Mitsubishi FX series, the Q, the Q and A. We have the Omron host link, which is C200 adapter and C500. We have the Omron fin serial. We have the Siemens uh, PPI, that's the S7200 CPU. And we can, as I mentioned before, we cannot talk different devices. We have the Automation Direct Solo temperature controller we can talk to, or the drives directly, for the GS drives by Automation Direct. And then through our Ethernet port, which is kind of unique, we can talk um, again through uh, Automation Direct uh, Click, the Ecom uh, Ethernet from Automation Direct, our Do More series through the Ethernet, or the Proactivity series. We can also go Modbus TCP IP. We also have drivers for the Allen Bradley uh, Ethernet IP. Um, the SLC 5501 or 505. We also have the uh, client and we also have a MicroLogix 
1100 or 1400 so a vast amount of different variety variety in this uh, controller itself so let's just go right to our controller and here is the unit itself and what we'll do is just open this up you'll see our part number here uh, we have the model EA3 uh, T4CL now opening this up the first thing we'll see is our quick start guide and our quick start guide will show you a quick summary of, of what we have and how to wire it as well as getting started with the software so we'll set that aside and here we have our controller itself so the box and we'll just get rid of that box and here what we have is we have our our mounting brackets we'll open those up put those down cover for our controller itself and the other thing we have in the box was a connector uh, for our power supply. So there the, our box open. Now this is the controller itself and my mounting brackets. So my mounting brackets, if we look at the back of the controller, you'll, you'll see and on the top we have mounting brackets. They actually fit right in there and then we tighten that up to the panel and you can see how the panel then will be squeezed between these two uh, uh, screws as it tightens up. Okay. So that's how those mounting brackets actually mount to the unit. And if we look at the back, we actually have our turn this up there, Ray. We actually have our Ethernet port, which is located right here. We have our uh, port number one, which is our serial port, and we have port number two, which is again a serial port. If we look on the side of the unit, you'll see here is my um, micro USB port for my programming. So this is only for a programming port. And over here we have the Ethernet, which is programming as well as the communication. And then we have the two serial ports here for both communication. So what we'll do is we'll um, power this up plug our connector in, spin this around, and we'll just turn power onto this unit, and what you'll see is it comes up with the system information menu, and what we'll do is we can enter that and we have memory and again we're just showing us that we have the um, 14 megabits of uh, memory available to us and we have that free because we have no program currently so we have a simple arrow um, operation here and we have licenses and versions etc um, we have settings we can, we can go into we have a test menu we'll enter that and we can do serial, we can test all every port, we can test our buzzer, or we can just uh, test our display. And we'll just let that run. So again, the micro, uh, Seymour micro uh, HMI is a great little unit. And here it is right here. There's our mounting. There's our different ports, and it will take uh, 24 volt, and it's four watts that this particular uh, unit will take. And then all of our connection and connection diagrams. So all the links that you see, and all the uh, documentation can be downloaded uh, on our website at accautomation.ca. If you like this video and like to see more, 
there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also go to ACC Automations and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.